When assessing the insulation of an appliance, the MEGA enables us to check either leakage current in a run test, or to check insulation resistance by applying a voltage across the insulation. Since an insulation resistance test will not power the device, that's what we'll use to get an initial assessment of more aggressive equipment like this big angle grinder, where it's more comfortable and possibly physically safer than to do a run test. Although it is industry best practice to perform a run test on any device with moving parts. Just like the run test, we need the probe for an earth connection, so connect it to the metal of the tool. It's safe to clip it there since the tool won't actually be spinning. Ensure that the rocker switch is off, and, remembering that for this test we use the bottom connections of the Mega, plug in the appliance. Switch on the power, and at this stage the earth continuity is checked, and for a class 1 device earth resistance is shown as pass or fail. However, since this grinder is class 2, we can ignore it. We'll use the 500 volt test, although if it were a computer or sensitive electronics like some slow start tools, we might choose 250 to avoid damage to the item under test. Press the 500 volt button and the Mega first checks for continuity, that is a complete circuit. In this case it's failed, suggesting a run test is needed. However, it's only because we've not switched on the tool. So close the switch on the tool and try again. Continuity is OK now, so the insulation is checked and it passes. The test will automatically terminate in 30 seconds. I'll press the 500 volt button again to stop it now. Test completed. It really is that easy.